Hey, this is Rich Wilkerson Jr. in Miami, Florida at VU Church. And I want to take a moment, if I could, invite all of the pastors and the leaders out there watching to come and join us this January in Miami for two days of training and impartation. It's the first time ever we've done something at VU Church, but we're calling it the VU Friends and Family Pastors Assembly. You know, I think it's really important that we as leaders, that we have other colleagues, other brothers and sisters in the faith doing the work together. And part of just coming together, man, you get sharper, you get better, you grow, you find encouragement. But not only that, I want to remind you about your calling. You're called to be a shepherd. When you study that word pastor in the Greek, you find that word shepherd associated with it. And shepherding, well, it's really about three things. It's about leading, feeding, and protecting. And I want to help you lead better. We want to help you feed better. And we certainly want to help you protect better. I think we're going to do that together. So why not get registered right now at the VU Friends and Family website? Bring yourself, bring your spouse, bring your team. It's limited spots available, but I know it's going to make a massive difference in your life. Can't wait to see you this January, Miami, Florida, Pastors Assembly. And all I can tell you is I'm a fundamental guy. That's the way I see life. And I have had to have a few fundamentals to hang on to in my simple way of thinking. I'll give you just a couple. For 25 years, I could have thrown up every time I preached. I was so nervous. One day, it just dawned on me, I don't have to be nervous about I want to be. Did you know you can just make that decision? <laughs> Do you know that you could just decide that? And you know what? I haven't been nervous since. I was a little nervous coming here today. <laughs> but I can tell you, I laid that aside. You know why? Because it was making my soul weary. I'm going to tell you one more thing, and then I'm, I'm done. Uh, I'm, I've already said more than I planned to say. But I was having lunch with a man in my church who was not a Christian and had no plans to be. He was a heart surgeon. In fact, he was head of the heart transplant uh, division of LSU Hospital, Louisiana State University Hospital, that's there in Shreveport. His wife is a great Christian. He wasn't going to be a Christian. He's still not a Christian. But he wanted to have dinner with me, and he never missed church because he was mesmerized by what I did, that thing I did. And he sat down with me, we began to eat, and he said, you know that thing you do? And I said, no, doctor, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he said, that thing, you, you, what you do? Preach. Yes, that, that. <laughs> he said, I'm there every Sunday to see you do that. He said, do you know how close to death you are when you do that? And I was immediately uncomfortable. <laughs> and I said, no, what are you talking about? He said, when you do that, you cannot believe how hard that is on your heart. To go, 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 go like that. For, and by the way, way too long. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if I was going to see my children again. <laughs> and then he said this. He said, on Monday, Reverend, are you depressed? I said, yeah, every preacher is. I said, the old joke is, do you ever feel like quitting? And the answer from the preacher is every Monday. <laughs> He said, you know, that's not depression, don't you? And I said, no, I, I don't know what, I'm not following you. He said, Reverend, let me put it simple, simply for you. He said, your body's throwing off adrenaline to save your life. He said, your health could be ruined if it didn't throw off all of that adrenaline. And said, when that happens, within 24 hours normally, of the last time you spoke, it imitates depression. So two of the things that have helped me have good soul health, to stay excited about ministry, 
to not think that the ministry's tiring me out, wearing me out, and ruining my quality of life, is that number one, I just decided not to be nervous anymore. And you know what else I decided? I decided not to judge myself so ruthlessly after I preach. I've decided that that was probably as good as I could do anyway. And then about one o'clock on Monday is normally when my deal hits me. And I will turn to June, who's been my personal assistant for 43 years. And I say, June, it's here. I'm gone. Going to watch Netflix. <laughs> and you know what? I'm 70 years old, and I still got my hair on fire every morning when I get up. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> 